And uh, I got a call back three weeks later and they said, come back in, your gonorrhea test came back inconclusive. So I lived right beside St. James Hospital at the time, so I rushed back in and I'll never forget going back into that consultant's room because I sat down and the consultant was looking at this computer for a few minutes and then she turned to me and she said, Robbie, last time you came back here, you got a HIV test. And I said, yeah, just normal bloods. She said, well, I came back positive. No, not good. You were 21. Uh, yeah, I hadn't a clue. I knew that like, HIV existed in Ireland. I didn't know how I was. I didn't understand how I was getting this really? diagnosis at all. I didn't know anyone lived with HIV. I didn't know HIV existed in Ireland. What year was this? 2012. That recently. And you had no idea? None. Uh, and people don't really believe me when I say that. I believe you entirely, but it's just, it's because, was it shocking that given that you would, I think one would expect you to know it, but not, not disbelieve you when you say you, did, you did, didn't? Absolutely not. So I didn't know how I was getting this. And not only that, they told me my immune system was quite low, actually. And that I had um, to get biopsies done and growths in my tongue. That, uh, it could be oral cancer. So I told I'd have to go on medication straight away. And not only that, I was told that because I lived with HIV, I couldn't get a residency visa to Australia. Well, that, that's gone. That Australian dream is gone. So just within that second of a diagnosis, God. I wasn't only told I was HIV positive, which I had no clue how I was getting. Um, but also, my dream that I worked for so long, that I had since I was 12, felt like it was just ripped away from me. So it was a very difficult time. Not only that, you were coming to terms with this, this thing that you obviously had to read up on and learn about, uh, given that your lack of knowledge on. Mm -hmm. You had to make five phone calls. Yes. Tell me about why you had to make five phone calls. So I didn't know anything about HIV, so I certainly knew the five relationships I had with didn't know anything about HIV, because we never had those discussions. Um, so I was kind of kept up at night, not because of my own HIV and diagnosis, but I was like, if I didn't know anything, they don't. And I know HIV affected my immune system. So every minute that I don't tell them, it could be affecting them. So I decided to meet up with them face to face, Sean being one of them, and um, just to say, go get checked. And that was an incredibly difficult time because that was in the first two weeks of diagnosis as well.